Yo guys, what is going on? It's your girl Rani Mobi here. Welcome back to another video. So guys, this new video is going to be a new series kind of thing on how to get to where I am on YouTube. Yes, I'm only on 400 odd subscribers, but I'm going to show you guys how to get to where I am and maybe even more where I am. So if you're going to enjoy this new series guys, then make sure you're notified every time I upload because I'm going to be doing a couple of episodes on this series on how to become basically a YouTuber where you gain subscribers, likes and views. So I'm looking forward to helping you guys out and doing all these tech tricks and tri tips and tricks with you. So let's do this. So guys, the first subject is going to be fake YouTube account. So you're probably thinking, you know, why would I want a fake YouTube account when I'm going to have a real one? I don't necessarily mean you've got to make a fake YouTube account. What I mean by this, guys, is make sure your YouTube account is legit and not fake. And what I mean by fake is do not copy other YouTubers. Now, you're probably thinking, but you're giving me these tips and you're using these tips, so I'm not just copying you. No, because you're going to use these tips to gain your own knowledge to grow on YouTube your own way instead of copying other people. Before I get into this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button to show all your love and support for this video. Smash that subscribe button to show how much you love this friggin' channel. Also, turn on that little bell notification. It literally takes two seconds to click and you are notified every time I upload a video. So if you enjoy this new series, guys, make sure you do all them free things just to show that you're enjoying. So guys, let's get on to this. So number one is make sure your YouTube channel is your own. Now what I mean by that, guys, is for example, if you want to upload vlogs, do not make your vlogs exactly like Roman Atwoods or PussyTube or, you know, whatever, KC or whatever. Make sure they're your own vlogs and you do your own thing. By this, you're making original content. So you're not copying other people's content, you're making your own kind of style content. So for example, Roman Atwood, he does a lot of RC cars, he does crazy stuff with his family and stuff like that. Do RC cars if you want to do RC cars and do crazy stuff with your family if you want to, but don't copy the same style as Roman Atwood. Mix it up a little bit and, you know, use your own styles. And I'm using Roman as an example because I see a lot of other YouTubers who try to, you know, use his kind of style vlogs in their own style vlogs. So make sure you use your own kind of content. So make sure you're original and you're your own person on YouTube. So do not be the fake YouTube channel, okay? Number two, guys, is make sure you don't copy people's thumbnails. Now, this is a big no-no. Okay, so your thumbnail is your own. So if you're... Say, for example, you're going down a like suggested box and you see someone's thumbnail and you keep going and there's someone else's thumbnail the exact same. You're going to be like, okay, whose do I click? Whose is the actual legit one? So if you use your own thumbnail, this way you've got like, you've got like the eye capture. So people will be like, this thumbnail is original. This thumbnail is different. I haven't seen this thumbnail before. This video looks sick. I'm going to click on this thumbnail. Make sure your thumbnail is for your video. So don't upload a thumbnail that says like, has got like, I don't know, Minecraft on when you're doing battlegrounds. Okay, so make sure the thumbnail actually links with the video you're doing. So don't upload a vlog and use a friggin Minecraft video thumbnail. Make sure it's from the actual video itself. Now you can cut out things. I'll do a video on how to make thumbnails and stuff like that for your videos. Um, the cheap way and the more expensive way as well. So make sure you keep your eye out for that guys. But the thumbnails is all is basically everything on a video because that's how you draw people in is with your thumbnails. But guys, that big thing comes up which is clickbait. So guys, that leads us on to step Free is clickbait. Now, a lot of people say you've got to use clickbait to become a YouTuber. Every YouTuber uses clickbait. You won't get anywhere on YouTube without clickbait. That is 100% false. I have used about three videos with clickbait then. I hardly use clickbait. So, how do you get around clickbait that you, but you want to use clickbait at the same time? You make a vlog. You go through your vlog, you edit your vlog, and you find a bit that says, I don't know, oh my god, he died. And you say that in your video. Use that as your video title or something. Okay, that is in your video, but it's not clickbait. So if you upload a video that is all about Minecraft and you type, put in the title, she's got big titties, then you're clickbaiting because what Minecraft character has big titties. So yeah, you've got to make sure 
that if you do want to click bake then make sure you use something that is out of your blog or your video and make sure you're saying it or showing it just to show that you know this isn't clickbait and this actually does happen okay so clickbait is a strong subject not a lot of people like it a lot of people like it i personally myself use it a couple of times but every time i use the clickbait there's always something in the video that shows what i'm actually clickbaiting with okay so try to pick something out of your video that is actually there instead of just making up a random title that's gonna clickbait people into coming into your video they don't even like the video because it's clickbait they go off the channel you know you're gonna get views but you're not gonna get subs so make sure you're using the right bait to draw people in number four is make sure that you are yourself do not be someone else be real be yourself if you're a generally funny guy or girl be funny on YouTube. Who cares? If you're generally a really sad person, why, you know, why should you have to be happy just to be YouTube? I'm, you know, I'm happy, but I'm sad sometimes, whatever. But whenever I make a video, I pulse myself up, make the adrenaline up just to make this video, to make ha to be happy so other people in my who's watching my video will be happy, you know? So make sure you're yourself. Don't try to be Rome Natwater. Don't try to be friggin' I don't know, Dan Lags or I don't know, PewDiePie. Just try and be yourself, guys, because a lot of people will like you more if you're yourself. If you're some, if you, like, say for example, at the beginning of your video, you're like really hyped up and pumped and everything like that, you're trying to be like Roman Atwood, get halfway through the video and you start going down and down and down and become yourself. Or, for example, you upload one video one day and you're really friggin' pumped up. The next video, the next day is like, Really, 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 really down. And you're just like, yeah, guys, you know, this is the next video. Welcome back. I hope you like. Why? Just be happy, guys. Be yourself. Be the person that your pe your viewers are gonna want to watch instead of being someone who they're not gonna like. So be yourself, guys. That's the main thing that I can tell you guys right now is make sure you're, you you're yourself. Guys, the last thing on my list is do not fake subscribes likes and views what i mean by that guys is do not go out and buy subscribers do not go out and buy likes or views either why because they're not going to be real people you go out and spend about 50 bucks on a load of subscribers yeah you get about 200 subscribers but what for guys you're going to have no views you're going to have no likes you go out and spend over 10 bucks on a load of views you're not gonna have no subscribers it's the same with likes you go out and spend that much money on likes you're not gonna have real subscribers likes um, or views so what's the point guys work hard for your likes your subscribers and your views there is no point going out and spending that much money guys on all these subscribers likes and stuff like that when they're not actually gonna be turned back to your channel make everything as I said in this to um this video guys and you will gain subscribers likes and views the way everyone else does because it's the real way guys so guys that concludes the five top tips on how to be a real youtuber and not to be a fake youtuber so i hope you like this little video guys and i hope you're looking forward to the next couple of set of videos i'm going to be doing stuff like how to make um youtube thumbnails how to come up with perfect names how to edit my how i edit my videos and how to edit your videos software to use equipment to use uh, a load of different stuff guys and how to gain subscribers and a load more stuff guys so if you're looking forward to all the videos then make sure as i said smash the like button and turn on your notifications as well guys if you're already subscribed if not then how about hitting that subscribe button for me help me reach 500 subs so i hope you like guys make sure you do um come back for the next couple of videos that i have installed because they're going to be awesome and for now guys, it's been real, it's been Randy Mupu, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, brother.